Back here in this country, a woman who beat her eight year old stepdaughter to death was sentenced this Friday. Now, despite the brutal and heinous nature of the crime, she'll spend just about a decade behind bars. The case sparked public outcry and has prompted politicians here in the nation to take extreme measures to tackle child abuse. Connie Lee has more. It was in this home in Gyeongsangbuk-do province where an eight-year-old girl was fatally beaten to death by her stepmother. Punched and kicked repeatedly, the girl died from a ruptured intestine last August. Her stepmother, identified only by her surname Im, and her husband went on trial this Friday morning. And despite prosecutors asking for a 20-year jail sentence for the stepmother, she was sentenced to 10 years by the judge on Friday. The father in this case was given a three-year term for negligence, despite prosecutors asking for seven years of jail time. Officials say the stepmother not only beat her youngest stepdaughter to death, but also forced her older stepdaughter to testify that she killed her younger sister. Public outrage surrounding the case grew even more when a letter written by the victim's 12-year-old sister claimed the stepmother had put her inside a laundry machine and let it run. Meanwhile, on the heels of Friday's trial, the Ministry of Health and Welfare released data that shows 97 children died from parental abuse from 2001 to 2012. The report, however, also notes that the number of deaths is probably higher, as many cases go unreported. In light of this case and other high-profile child abuse cases in Korea, the government is also taking action, with policymakers and ruling party lawmakers looking for ways to put an end to child abuse. Connie Lee, Arirang News.